hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer so a lot of you remember this uh, la uh, lady that uh, she's the daughter of the Equere madus the nigerian politician that went abroad to he took a boy from nigeria to the uk for transplant because his daughter this is the daughter because she was unwell and the uk government uh, picked them up and they are still in custody till today because they you know is against the uk government you know because they believe that they were trying to you know what's it called now uh, initially you know because it's not allowed in the uk to solicit directly or you know stuff like that for organ donation a lot of you will know this story so basically if the parents are still you know in custody as we speak and you remember i made a video saying that while the parents where the parents are in custody this is their daughter right this is their daughter that is um that he needs the transplant and i made a video which i was saying that <coughs> excuse me that while the parents are in custody this this is a, you can actually see her pot there um you can see it on her neck and um, that's you know she's getting dialysis and all of that so i made a video which i was saying that while the parents are still held in the uk custody you know will this girl survive the wait or waiting for her parents to come out because we don't even know if they are going to be you know locked up for eventually the girl decided to take the bulls by the horn because her parents are still in custody at the moment so she decided to make her own public appeal directly you know to the public and she said um appeal for kidney donation by sonia equere madu i sonia equere madu hereby appeal to the general public to come to my aid and save my life i am 25 years old and a graduate uh, and a graduate of media and communications University of Coventry. Um, I dropped out of my postgraduate studies at the University of uh, Newcastle in 2019 when I was diagnosed with a, a rare kidney disease, FSGS nephrotic syndrome. My family has battled to save my life and has taken me to various hospitals, uh, but the illness persisted and kept degenerating. I am alive today by the special grace of God. I am presently in London, UK, receiving five hours of dialysis, three to four times a week this is the uh, this is at the expense of my family as i am not qualified for nhs due to my immigration status the last three years have been extremely challenging the charges being faced by my parents in london presently are directly connected to my illness and have complicated matter for me and my family i do not intend to delve into details of this unfortunate development as the matter is still in court i am however optimistic that the truth will prevail and it will end in in in, and in praise of God. In the circumstance above, I am appealing to anybody whom it may please to assist me willingly with a kidney donation in the name of God. This appeal would have been utterly unnecessary as every member of my family is eager to donate their kidney to me, knowing that I would do the same for any of them. Regrettably, a comprehensive medical examination showed that my case of nephrotic syndrome is a genetic illness and the doctors advised against donation from any of my family members as it would likely reoccur in the t in the time that my diagnosis with acute kidney damage anybody that is moved by this appeal and wishes to donate his or her kidney to me may send an email to help sonia leave at gmail.com and include his or her name phone number email address and place of residence please note that under the laws of england and wales organ donation must be purely driven by compassion and therefore no reward is involved this is where they got into trouble with the, the young boy they took because apparently there is like the uh, the report is that they promised the boy this and that and that so you know what i mean so they say uh, no reward is involved okay so so they say finally i have decided to commit uh, and dedicate my life to helping people with the challenges of kidney disease upon my full recovery thank you and god bless i want to quickly show you guys some of the comments people left um, under punch news punch news shared the excuse me punch news shared about it on their facebook page and i want to show you guys some of the comments people left them this comment says, you are schooling at Newcastle while schools here are on strike. Your father is one of the problems that put this nation into this. God is not sleeping. Uh, another one says, I wish 
Are you, I wish you quick recovery. If I might have an opportunity to talk to this girl, I will ask her if a, if a common Nigerian man would be, would be find himself in her, your shoe. Would you donate your kidney to him? Ask a daughter of former... Okay, I think I meant to say the English is a bit somehow, but it says uh, donate to him as a daughter of former deputy senate president. If I would ask her, did she not aware... Okay, you got you understand the English, but it's a bit or whatever. So he said, did she not, okay, and uh, did she not aware of what her father and his circle friend forced um, um, forced um, abject poverty to Nigeria to the extent that we couldn't access common Nigeria hospital. And this one says, where are your father's colleagues who wasted our commonwealth to London to support him on his trials? Those wastage should have direct should have directed towards helping you. Equate Madu's comrades, please rise to the occasion. This one says, this world. When my sweet sister was diagnosed with the, with the same illness, I posted it. No one gave me a listening ear, not to talk of understanding class of your type who cannot even hit like on the post now you now you are begging the helpless citizens to donate will you be able to offer a full lifetime support for your helper this was a kidney not available life is very precious even in poverty oh my god this is funny if only you were not the child of our heartless politician class political class sorry, sorry child of our heartless political class maybe just maybe and this one says, well, it's, well, it's quite a pity, but had it been um, a common man, I don't think you as a daughter of the former deputy senate president of Nigeria will even have time to take it to your Instagram, to your Instagram, but it's well, now you know money can't buy everything. Uh -huh. This one says, so she didn't have Umunna, an extended family, even boyfriend, or even her fellow rich politi politician friends. If na marriage now, oh my goodness. If na marriage now, even invitation no go reach also. Oh wow. Oh wow. Do you know what I mean? People are being honest. You know, when they want to marry, they marry from the elite. Now they are looking for donation. They are going to the public. Why actually? Why don't the elite help them? Do you know what I mean? The elite can be in the next flight and be in London in the next five minutes. This one says, I don't feel a thing for her because if, if she has not been in a life threatening situation, she would not remember that life has no duplicate. Her, I think meant to say father is a part of this, so of this sufferings Nigerians are facing. Why they use the loot of the masses to fly their private jets and give her luxury life abroad. It's simply called karma. If her father was not in, not in jail, he would have, he would have been touring the entire East Entire East campaigning for PDP, wicked souls. I hope he rots in jail and burn in hell. Oh, wow. This one says, when we finally get the money, may we not have a problem that the money cannot solve. May God heal you, Sonia. This one says, I pray you get a donor and I hope the process is successful. After that, remind your father that he could have used the billions he stole to erect a standard hospital in Enugu. This one says, when money is no longer the problem, may our health not fail us. Divine healing in Jesus, in Jesus' name, girl. This one says, oh, an amen to worry. The world turns around. Who could, who could ever imagine that a whole distinguished senator's daughter will one day beg from the poor masses? No, nah, sorry. May God help you get a helper. My own kidneys are not even... <laughs> sorry, what did you write there? Sorry. Let me take it. My own kidneys are not even enough for me <laughs> sorry i'm not supposed to laugh this one says a sad pathetic appeal that deserves some, some sympathetic and empathic reactions and prayers is is draw is drawing unexpected comments of abuses and ill wishes all because her father is part of the failed corrupt system i think the young lady at this point deserves nothing less than prayers and best wishes the sins of the father shouldn't be cast on the shoulders of a dying daughter please let's wish her well this one says um, i'm not rejoicing over your situation but your, but your father contribute for our country wahala you schooled outside we here are uh, on asu strike since february may god heal you amen this one says why begging nigerians this is what i don't like you base in uk you're asking people 
You're asking people from Nigeria to come and donate kidney for you. What happened to those kidney in UK? They should have done that before sending that innocent boy to UK for transplant. This one says, I will donate if only you will come down to Enugu and point one hospital built by your father so the surgery will be done there. Bye. Hmm. This one says, leave us alone. Some of us here have lost one or two relatives because, our, because your father and his likes stole the money that uh, would have been used to give them a good and affordable health facilities, good roads to avoid accidents, etc., etc., just to give you and, your, and their other children good life. The little God didn't allow them to take from us is what we are managing. Please and please let us manage it. Uh, manage it, I think, in peace. Thank you. This one says, you are punished by the deed of your father. National treasury, he and, he and wife loot. Make it their own, I think meant to say. That's just some punishment too for our politic, political leaders. Indulging general public funds plunged the rest privilege to an abject poverty. This one says, I can't believe this is coming out from a millionaire daughter with properties everywhere and Naira slash dollars account fully loaded. And yet no one can come out, hit his or her chest and said, this man has been good to me. So let me stand for him. God is wonderful. Now I believe in God more than before. I pray may God have mercy on us. I wish her quick recovery in, recovery in Jesus name. See the advantage of sharing school with the, with the children of the poor. If she has friends among the poor, I'm sure some of them will willingly want to donate, donate theirs to her. But the problem, you, you no longer mix with the common people in the society. Your everything is exclusive. Your everything is exclusive from school to university, even market you don't share with the people below the, your class. There are, there are things even money cannot afford because you know people... They will do it for you. I feel for you. May you get someone with a large heart to donate uh, his or hers to you. This one says Nigerian politicians always think they don't need the poor, uh, need the poor masses in an, in anything except deceiving and using them during election and dump them after the election. And above all, every human being is important, irrespective of his or her status. Truth it bitter. Had it been our government put the necessary infrastructure in place, you may. You may not be in this mess. I pray you scale through. Uh, talk to your dad that the rich also cry. You schooled abroad. Here at home, Asu is on strike for, se for the past seven months. I pray God will save you. Basically, in her own post, you know, comments are not allowed. So you can't leave comment there. But basically, you can see from all the comments and everything that, um, you know, a lot of people are not sympathizing with her at all. A lot of people are, you know, that... Um, She's like, uh, unfortunately, it's like she's becoming the uh, poster child for, you know, what Nigerians call karma against the, the rich politicians, you know, because we all know they are all swimming in money and their children school abroad and they get the, get the best health care abroad and all of that. It's quite unfortunate what's going on, but um, I don't know. Hopefully the other politicians are looking at this and telling themselves that they need to fix that country called Nigeria so that... Uh, the healthcare system will be good for everybody, not for them to be going abroad. Because let's be honest, because if, you see, if this girl decides to go to Nigeria for surgery, she can easily get a donor in Nigeria. If, because Nigeria does not have some of, I don't know if Nigeria has, or like the laws in the UK that uh, <clears throat> prohibit somebody from basically buying, you know what I mean, basically you're buying or offering somebody money to, you know, to donate any part of their body. But I don't know if there's a law like that in, in Nigeria. So, but I don't think she wants to go to Nigeria for her surgery. It seems she wants to do it in, in the UK. And, uh, and it's because they know, they know that the healthcare in Nigeria is not the, is not the standard it should be at. You know, it's not the standard. Hopefully other politicians, but sometimes I feel like a lot of our politicians, I feel like their hearts are made of rocks and, you know, stones and all, you know, made of rocks because you would think this may move some of them to begin to rethink their thinking. But you'd be surprised that, you know, but you'd be surprised that this may still not change anything. Anyways, I wanted to quickly show you guys this update. Um, as always, whatever your opinions are about this, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Um, and with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye. -bye. Bye.